Hey guys, this time on Midnight Garage, we're gonna do a budget makeover on this Chevy truck. So let me kind of show you what we're doing here and sort of explain um, why sometimes we just go this route. So in this case, so customer's work truck, you know, still a good looking truck. Um, obviously we have the standard rust issues and bottom of the doors are a little scaly. Oh, sorry, the lighting's kind of bad on this angle of the shop, but so basically what we're going to be doing on this truck, I'm going to be fixing the rust along the bottom. We're just going to paint up to the bottom of the moldings. Um, I'm going to show you what we're going to be doing here. Now, we are not repairing the box on this truck. So what we are going to do is put on the old standard rust covers. So whenever you see these trucks, be it Ford, Dodge, Chevy, with fender flares, they're not usually because the tires are too big. They're usually because the truck's rusty, around here anyway. So, customer supplied these. I'm not familiar with them, but uh, maple4x4.ca. Sounds Canadian. It's got kind of a badass 4x4, doing some 4x4 things there on the box. So, so that's a good sign. So I'm pretty sure they're just kind of standard, you know, knockoff bushwhackers or whatever. Well, actually they feel pretty good. I've used these cheapies before where they're super brittle, but these are actually kind of feel like maybe urethane. They've got some flex to them, so that's all right. So we're going to be painting up the flares, putting those on, and then I will show you what we're going to do on the box to stop this from spreading. Um, I've done it before. It is, you know, whatever. It's, a, it's fine to do it when we're working on a budget. I'm going to basically be putting a window in here. I'm going to cut out the worst of this rust. I'm going to try not to cut into the inner panel. And then we'll treat it. Cover it up with a fender flare. So, that being said, I'm going to pull the rest of these flares out. And we're just going to... Going to assess exactly what we're doing. So I've started stripping off the bottom of the doors. That's pretty basic. Um, some of the pitting's pretty deep, so I'm probably just going to back it outside and just dust it off with the sandblaster. I'm going to move on to our bedside. So, some tools. So like I mentioned earlier, um, we're basically just going to cut a window in here so this rust isn't going to keep climbing out and come out from behind the flare. I've set the flare on there. It comes up to about here. So I'm just going to do kind of a quick scribe mark so I know kind of where I'm cutting. So obviously this isn't the... Uh, the best way to fix rust. I mean, we're not fixing rust, we're just getting rid of it. So it's not gonna continue to grow. So if you are gonna attempt something like this, you wanna cut really shallow because we don't wanna cut into the inner panel. We just wanna get rid of this piece of outer skin. So this is what causes our rust in all of these pickup trucks, guys, every brand. So all the dirt and water gets up inside here. All this dirt stays there. It stays wet. It rusts things out. Uh, I say it every time I work on one of these. Once a year, take your taillights out of your truck. Get in there straight through with your pressure washer to blow all this crap out of there. 
If you can keep this clean in here, the truck's gonna last a lot longer. And the other thing you can do too, once you spray all that out, get all that dirt out of there, once it's really dry, soak it down with some, some sort of penetrating oil. Some, uh, you know, some of that crown rust protection stuff comes in an aerosol or even just your whatever fluid film or whatever you want to spray in there until it's pouring out and it's going to soak into everything, soak into these pinch welds even going to soak into the existing rust rather than having water soaking into it. So, so anyway, I'm going to clean this all up. Um, but before anything goes back on top of it, I'm going to kind of wire brush this and treat it probably with some POR15 rust preventative paint. So that'll just make it last a lot longer. And like I said, doing this, now this rust isn't going to keep growing and be bursting out behind the flares. At least now we've contained it. touch that went through unfortunately. So I decided to get that set of flares painted for that truck today. So I'm just starting to mix up some paint. I've already got them in the booth. I already have a coat of sealer on them. GMWA213M Greystone or titanium
Okay, quick check-in. Figured I'd show you guys where we're at. So I got the fender flares all painted yesterday. So they were able to cure overnight. So I should be able to start assembling them. And then I've got the truck in the booth masked up. So this is pretty straightforward. I've basically just cleaned up all the rust on the bottom of the doors. I'm gonna give that a couple of coats of epoxy primer and then we're gonna give it a coat of rock guard right to the back wheels and then we're gonna paint it. So yeah, I'm gonna get uh, some primer going and then I'll periodically bring you guys in for a look. So it's the next morning again. I got the bottom of the truck painted yesterday. So, as I showed you, kind of what we're doing on the box on this, we've just windowed it out so that rust isn't going to keep growing and pop out from behind the flares. Unfortunately, these inners are rusted through, but it is what it is. So I've treated everything just with POR15, some good rust paint. So that's going to just keep things better a little longer. Go around to the other side where the light's better. <clears throat> so yeah, I didn't bother filming a bunch on the bottom. Super straightforward. Uh, basically, I've just stripped the whole bottom to clean bare metal. Got rid of the rust that was down there. Um, masked it up. Gave it two good coats of a good epoxy primer, and then I gave it a coat of rock guard and then painted so oh and i'll show you too so little extra i mean this wasn't part of the job on this one but i did quickly wire brush the inside lip where it was a little flaky and rusty and i just coated it with the pr15 and then it was, it's got these rubber strips that are going to go back on top so again just preventative it's going to keep it like i said a little, little better a little longer so, we're ready to start putting the old fender flares on. So I'm going to move on to installing some fender flares. I'm not going to bother going through all the steps of this for you guys. I mean, they are super self-explanatory. They come with instructions. Um, front ones are actually super easy. You just take out the factory liner retainers, and that's all it that holds front flare on. Now the rears always come with these cheese ball clips. I mean, if you're putting these on a brand new truck, these are great um, because you don't have to drill. When I'm putting them on something like this, honestly, I am on the rear. Probably just going to drill the lip and put some self tappers in to hold it nice and solid, um, especially when you're dealing with the, you know, the, the top part being soft, you're not going to have as much for it to attach to. So that's probably what I'll do on the rear. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these started. Um, I think I'll just bring you guys back once they are on for a final look. There she is guys uh, not a big job just kind of a, a quick and simple cleanup of an old truck uh, as you see it you know, makes her a lot more presentable rather than looking at rust it was a fraction of the cost of repairing the rust properly you know not everybody has the bucks or wants to spend that kind of money on an older pickup so I mean a repair like this sometimes makes sense so these knockoff fender flares, they're okay. Um, they don't fit as nice as, uh, you know, paying the money for a bushwhacker set. 
the, the front ones are pretty good. The rears, I spent quite a bit of extra time trying to get them just right, but they're still, I mean, they're okay, but they're not real tight to the body. But did the best I could with them. So, as always, guys, thanks so much for watching. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of, you know, stuff like this. If you'd like to see more of this kind of stuff or anything else, as always, you'd like to see on the channel, auto body related. So, leave me a comment. Hit subscribe. Hit the like. Do all the Facebook or YouTube stuff. And, yes, you can follow Midnight Paint and Body on Facebook and Instagram if you want to see more of the projects I don't show in the videos. As always, guys, thanks for watching. See you on the next one.